This video will give you an overview of the Gizzy Buddy and how to set it up. In this section I will show you how to change the bolt plate on the Gizzy Buddy. The projector is set very low on this printer so we had to open up the side and the top of the printer. This section will show how to change the focus on this specific projector. Each projector is different, but all the projectors have some kind of ability of changing focus or changing zoom. The bigger projectors would have two things that you can actually turn to give it focus and zoom, and the smaller projectors will only have one thing that you can turn to change the focus. The on off switch for this projector is on the left side. You don't need to take off the side of the printer to find the button, but it might just make it a little bit easier in the beginning. This section will show how to install all the cables in your Gizzy Buddy. This Gizzy Buddy has been upgraded to the servo package. First, plug in the servo power supply cable. You will notice this cable has been cut. That means it's only meant to be used on 220 or 240 volt. If it has not been cut, then it can be used on 110 volt. Next, take the cable that is coming out of the printer and plug that into the power supply. That is the servo power. Plug the HDMI cable into the back of the Gizzy Buddy and into your PC. This will supply the projector with an image. Plug the USB cable into the back of the Gizzy Buddy and into your PC. That will send messages to the controller. Plug the 220 volt, 240 volt, 110 volt directly into the back of the printer that will go into a power supply inside the printer for the projector. Plug in the 12 volt DC power that will power the controller. This is the end of the physical setup of the printer. Please have a look at the other videos to see how to set up your Windows and the Gizmotor and Gizzy Print software.